So we uncovered a tumor buried in the jaw of a dinosaur. Not fiction, not clickbait, a real fossil scanned with cutting edge technology, revealing a disease that still affects humans today. That fossil came from a Telmatosaurus transylvanicus, a duckboat dinosaur that roamed Romania 70 million years ago. And the lump on its face, well, it wasn't damage. It was an ameloblastoma, a real tumor seen in humans and reptiles today. But here's the wild part. If a dinosaur and a human can grow the same type of tumor, then the cellular machinery behind that disease is deeply evolutionarily rooted. That means that cancer isn't just a modern disease, it's an ancient one. It's evolutionary. And it's been hitchhiking through time in the DNA of countless species, including us. How do we even know this? Well, researchers used micro CT scanning, a non-destructive 3D X-ray to digitally peel back layer of layer of this fossilized bone and have a look inside without causing any damage, of course. This revealed not just the tumor, but how it grew, what tissue it displaced and how it might have shaped the animal's fate. And this is where things shift from prehistoric to personal. One of the lead authors on the paper said that the findings raised the possibility that research into these ancient conditions may help improve understanding of disease progression and even play a role in influencing future treatments for humans. Now, you heard that right. Studying dinosaur tumors might help doctors today better understand how cancer works and maybe how to stop it. Now, the question is how? Well, by revealing the evolutionary history of tumors, so how they formed, how they grew, and how they've stayed the same over tens of millions of years, if we know what parts of cancer are ancient and conserved across different species, we can target the biological core code that cancer cells still rely on today. Because if something stuck around for that long, it's either vulnerable or crucial. Both are opportunities for medicine. In other words, ancient tumors can act like blueprints, showing us what to target, what pathways cancers hijack, and even what weaknesses they may have. This isn't about comparing a dinosaur to a human, it's about comparing biology to biology. Because cancer is a story of cellular rebellion, and those stories started long before humans evolved. So. What's next? Well, they want to do more scans on more fossils to find more tumors and cancers. They want to build a deep time cancer map, tracking how tumors evolved across different species across time. And if they can collaborate across paleontology, oncology, and molecular biology to decode these patterns, well, then we may just have the winning formula. What do you think about this? Let me know below. Cheers.